Hi, I'm Andrew Trendle. You're watching Enemy, and we're here with Aurora. Hey. How are you today? Nice. No, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Just the whirlwind trip around London, talking about the album, but not the album. The step. The step. Step one. Step. Or two. Or more than two. How many steps are there? Oh, many. So this is coming to you as infections of a different kind. Yes. Drops by surprise. What made you decide to do it that way? Um, because I'm really bad at building things up mm. <laughs> or like I, I, I've dropped hints of things um, in, in kind of a very um, subtle way mm. so I think a few of you guys out there already knew the name you already figured a few things out which is kind of fun and um, it's all very cryptic um, but it's, it's, it's just nice to have a surprise in life I think we need more surprises, mm. good surprises. <laughs> Are you not good at keeping secrets? Yes. Oh. I am very good at keep, keeping secrets. <laughs> so what can you tell us about, um, well, we've heard Queendom and Forgotten Love. Mm -hmm. How representative would you say that they are of the record as a whole? Not that much. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're both quite different. Oh, it, it depends how, how, how deep you dive into music, of course, but they're quite different um, if, you, you know, if you look quite close. Um, Queendom is, is quite anthem-like, while Forgotten Love is quite a personal. I have only one personal song, it's track number eight, the one I've been talking about for a long time now, and now you know what track number eight is. <laughs> um, that's the only personal song for me and that was the song that started the whole process that was that was the seed to step one uh, to this whole campaign really because when I wrote that song it was in the middle of the night I realized what I what the next step is and that's why it's step one mm. um, because it's kind of a part of a whole process which you have to go through first before you can do anything else, I mean. Mm. Yeah. So you can say that step two is going to kind of bring some kind of closure to step one. Yes, mm. or at least it's kind of, what's the opposite of closure? It just brings you on, but yeah, it's very yeah, yeah. open, yeah. you know, because step one, this step is a lot about, um, it's kind of a natural step to my first after my first album, mm. All My Demons Greeting Me As A Friend, uh, which were about looking into yourself and looking at all of it and accepting all of it. Mm. Um, and not kind of, because it's easy to be numb rather than to be in, uh, in, in, in contact with your own emotions. Mm. So that was, you know, my, my biggest mission back then, to make sure that we we're not afraid to feel, not afraid to cry, and kind of accepting our demons as a very important part of our evolving as a human, mm. you know. And then this step one is about kind of moving on with that. I think we are meant to really fight for each other. Mm. But I think it really prevents us to have the capacity to see other people when we're in pain. Um, so first you accept that life comes with pain and then you really work on the pain. So this step, I really want people to listen to it and feel like they're getting stronger. Mm. It's quite empowering. Mm. Many of the songs are about people taking choices on behalf of, the, of themselves, about coming back for revenge uh, in kind of the in my more um, delusional stories, like uh, It Happened Quiet and Churchyard, um, they all, you know, the, the victim kind of comes back to haunt um, the one that hurt them. It's just about kind of the, the, the process in becoming a warrior, mm. a true warrior for the world. Mm. Um, but you have to work on your own stuff first. I mean, it felt like the track Queendom arrived at just the right time because you said that was um, not only a song for... You're, you're okay. Mm. <laughs> Aurora doesn't drink coffee. I 
hate and she coffee. asked for the blackest of coffees. Oh. <laughs> Do you feel alive? Yes. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Queendom! 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 Yes. Oh, you said that was um, an anthem for the underdogs. Yes. But not necessarily a kind of, in a call to arms fighting way. But it was mm. also kind of a way of saying, we're all in this together, whether that be men and women, yeah. plants and trees. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And it's... Um, it's all very complicated. Like my this step is about so many things, but also it has kind of one quite quite um, significant. Do you said red thread on English? Mm, yeah. You know, like uh, so. Queen on first is about accepting our differences, about learning that we are all you know as you said together in this, especially. Uh, in this world where the underdogs, which in some places are women, mm -hmm. in other places men, in other places children, animals, and you know, and introverts, quiet people, uh, which I think have so much to say, but we live in a world where no one has time to wait. Mm. Uh, and then Forgotten Love is song number two. Um, it's about kind of moving on from pain, even though it and also the good, the good part of the pain, moving on from a period in your life, which was beautiful, but the memory of it is painful. Mm. And then letting go of that, of that memory, you know, if you lose someone, if they die, for example, you carry them with you, and it's, it, it's very heavy, but it's scary to let go, because it's the only thing you have left. Mm. And, but it's so nice when it happens, when you remember to live. As Dumbledore said, does not do to dwell in dreams and forget to live. Favorite dude, <laughs> Mr. Dumbledore. Um, and then you have, you know, A Gentle Earthquakes. All the songs have their own story. And it's so nice to, I'm so excited to see what people find in them because they can mean quite many things. For me, it changes all the time what I get out of the songs. And, but it's very much about accepting that you can be a warrior, even though the world might put a box around you, which is labeled kind of not the alpha, the alpha. Yeah. And it must be, do you, do you feel like your music's doing that? Because your fans are a very dedicated yeah. type of people, very intense, intensely dedicated yeah. kind of people. I attract my own kind. Yeah. I've used the word tribe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are a tribe. Yeah. Definitely. I feel like we are a tribe of warriors what we call ourselves mm. and um, that's it's been in, in in my vision all the time that we could become the warriors of light mm. just you know I don't know I'm so passionate about it even when I was a kid I always cared about like you know when you first got to know that kids in other places had such a different life than you and it just destroyed me. I couldn't sleep for days. And I cried so much. And I, you know, I told my teachers and my parents, like, yeah, I need, we need to save the world. We need to save them. We need to save everyone. And they all say, no, but that's not possible. You have to do what you can, small goals, and you won't be disappointed. But I'm tired of people, of thinking about it as an impossible thing to do. I really want my, my, my children, if it's by blood or just by heart, to, to experience an even better world because mm. it, it's uh, I think it's the meaning of our lives to find a meaning whatever that is if it's gardening or Coffee. masturbating I don't know what you <laughs> whatever f f feels good for you or the people around you um, no, I, never at the same time though no not at the same time <laughs> no gardening and masturbating at the same time unless you have a very big very. private garden Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> In between the gardening and the masturbation, I think. Yeah. Yes, my album. Yeah. That's where it is. <laughs> so how, how much mind do you pay to kind of your tribe growing? Are you happy to just have your message out there and people will be receiving it? Do you think about hitting the mainstream in a well, big, big way? Um, no. Well, kind, yes, I guess I do. I hate being famous. I'm not famous, but I hate being a bit known mm. in certain days. I'm really bad with it. 
and I just stay inside my apartment yeah. and I play computer games or read a book or something, I don't know. Um, so it's weird that I keep on working for something that I'm quite uncomfortable with. Mm. Um, as I guess other people like me, you know, other people in the world, I think, has wouldn't be comfortable with it all, all the time because it's a very strange thing mm. um, to be known, stared at. I know I look weird also, so it might be that, but you never know, you know. Mm. Um, but it is nice to to see us become more and more. And I learned, you know, it was from my 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 tribe. I learned that we could have a bigger meaning. Mm. It was through them I learned that we can actually do things. I can do things with their help. Yeah. And they can do things with my help because we are so in touch. Yeah. Um, so it was actually through, you know, getting fans or friends. I don't know. I learned that oh, we can we can do many things yeah. if we want. I was talking to Slotface recently. Oh, I love them. I agree. We we had a little a trip together. A few days ago, actually. Oh, where'd you go? Uh, Stockholm, yeah. <laughs> an island in Norway. Ah, sweet. Well, they said um, that when they saw that Sigrid had a billboard in Times Square, it inspired them. It wasn't like a sense of competition. It was like a sense of holy shit, that's what's possible. Hmm. Do you ever like? Do you get inspired by that kind of sense of scale? It's very complicated because I really don't care about, you know, the the views or the money or the as long as I can do what I can uh, I'm happy and it's kind of like it's it's very complicated I don't like being the center of attention mm. but I do things all the time which makes I, I just can't help it if I'm with people and I get uncomfortable I can you know I feel uncomfortable if I stand still so I may start dancing a bit in the street because it makes me feel more relaxed but then, I don't know, it's kind of like I'm, I'm always working against myself in that way. Because it makes me uncomfortable to, to be the center of attention. Mm. It would make me uncomfortable to be on a big f photo mm. on Times Square. I don't think I would like it. Mm. Of course it would be cool, but I wouldn't... I don't know, it's very complicated. I don't really want that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to play shows and make music and talk to interesting people mm. and hear their stories and figure out what I think you know they need and what I need and it's very it's, you know that's the only thing I care about but I know uh, to do that to be able to go on tour to all those countries I haven't been in yet to go to them where they've been asking for four years now please come to a Turkey mm. for example I haven't been there yet so I, I need to make sure that one day I can go to all those places, meet all the, my, my people mm. around the world. That's my goal, mm. to just be as close as possible without, you know, draining myself, of course. But I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And what are you planning for this tour? Because your live shows are pretty dramatic. What are you planning to kind of do to shake up this tour from the last tour? Um, well, it is an interesting question because I've never thought about that before. Mm. You know, I I just love going crazy and letting go and crying together with you know the, the people in the room and all of those stuff. It's just it's very lovely. I, I feel so human and also so disconnected from myself when I'm on, on the stage. Mm. But I'm bringing some dancers. Mm. I have some girls. They are so beautiful, they're so talented and um, grateful and kind and funny. They're everything a woman should be, all of them. Uh, and I'm so honored to have them with me. And because I, I want the change to, to be organic. Mm. And when do you sense we might be able to expect step two? Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Maybe the year after. Mm. Like an organic, ever-evolving thing, it's not set in stone. No. Yeah. Amazing. Aurora, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for thank your you. time, mister. Cheers, guys. <laughs> <laughs>